person diagnosed with ulcerative colitis in the year 2002. Uh, this caused severe problems for me. Uh, it led to ulcers in the colon and uh, while it started with just in the descending colon, soon it spread and uh, it has led to something called pancolitis. Uh, I've been through various uh, treatments, whether it was uh, allopathy, naturopathy, I've tried uh, Ayurveda and uh, homeopathy, none of it seemed to work. Um, I, it also led to a lot of problems in my lifestyle, a lot of diet restrictions. Uh, when I first met Dr. Avnish Seth, he told me about this treatment called FMT or stool transplant. Um, when I heard about it, my first reaction was that this is not something that I would like to do or it's not something that I'm comfortable doing. But over a period of time with repeated uses of uh, steroids and immunosuppressants giving me no relief, uh, I finally convinced myself to learn more about this treatment and um, you know, the doctor kept saying all you need to do is get over the yuck factor and once that I was able to overcome that, I did start my treatment in the year 2020. Uh, it's been two years now that I've been undergoing this treatment with Dr. Avnish State and uh, the results have been wonderful. Um, I've had, I've completely stopped using all steroids and um, uh, my diet is now back to normal. I, my lifestyle has come back to normal. I'm able to travel. There are no restrictions when it comes to my work. I'm not facing any problems. So it's really been a great uh, therapy for me and um, I would recommend that people who are undergoing uh, problems of ulcerative colitis and similar uh, diseases that they do try this treatment uh, to give them a long term benefit. Ms. Megha Nagpal is about 35 years old. पिछले 20 साल से इनको अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस तंग कर रहा था 10 से 15 स्टूल दिन में लूज ब्लड के साथ एंड शी हैड ट्राइड एवरी पॉसिबल ट्रीटमेंट अवेलेबल सो हम लोगों ने इनका स्टूल ट्रांसप्लांट किया 2019 में और अभी फॉलो अप पे हमारे चल रही है ये एंड शी डिड सो वेल शी हैज नॉट यूज स्टेरॉइड्स फॉर द लास्ट 3 इयर्स as a thyprin, these are strong medicines that have been closed for 3 years and her life has changed quite well. So we have published the only 5-year follow-up study in the world on what happens in ulcerative colitis when people are on long-term stool transplant treatment. And we have seen that 50 to 60 percent of people they respond so well that we can taper off strong medicines. Kar sakte. And I think Megha uh, is lucky to be in that 50-60%. Thank you.